This past NFL offseason has been one of the craziest that I've ever witnessed, from unretirements to the normal re-signings and signings to the crazy amount of trades that we've seen this year. Not only trades, but top-tier talent trades. So before the draft rolls around, I, I just want to talk about all the insaneness that has occurred this past like month or two since the entire NFL season has finally completed. So that's exactly what I'm going to be talking about. We're going to go through the trades, the signings, uh, re-signings, all that sorts of stuff, and just how much this league has changed in a short period of time is actually insane to think about so if this is your first time viewing the channel my name is john this is the sports advocate give me a like a dislike give me some criticism down below because i'm really trying to grow especially with how small i am now that's the best time for me to make my improvements but i'd really appreciate if you subscribe every person that subscribes definitely is noticed and appreciated especially with how small i am at this current moment but with that being said let's go ahead and get right into this first things first um, obviously, with the season ending, how it did, the Rams making the um, Rams winning the Super Bowl, and then all that stuff, and then Tom Brady retiring was pretty much the biggest news that we had, at the, especially at the beginning of the offseason. And then he unretires, like Brett Favre, except for Brett Favre actually stayed retired for a little bit there. But that that alone is just like a huge piece. But the amount of things that were like breaking news. Number one, top five, whatever trending on Twitter on every single platform, and the fact that it just kept happening like every two days was just a brand new number one trending thing, and it was just crazy to think about. So I want to start with some of the re-signings uh, because that's what is primarily going to happen first was the re-signings. There's some trades that happened before the re-signing stuff, but I figured let's cover the re-signings first. So first things first. The biggest news, the one that kind of dangled in front of everyone's head about what's going to happen, I mean, this has been news since last year pretty much, is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers re-signed with the Packers. There was thoughts of him getting traded. There was thoughts of him retiring, and he ends up re-signing with the Packers for a super, super big deal, and it just helps the Packers stay relevant for a long time to come and keep the NFC uh, with good quarterbacks because there's been a lot of competition quarterback wise in the AFC now after a lot of movement happened. So Aaron Rodgers resigned with Packers, huge, huge news. Um, then we had Malcolm Butler resigned with the Patriots just recently. We had Leonard Fournette resigned with the Buccaneers, and Jameis Winston resigns with the Saints. Speaking of Jameis Winston re-signing with the Saints and the Saints in general, there was all the reports of Deshaun Watson. Well, where was he going to go? There was the Falcons. There was the Saints. There was the Browns. Heck, there was a couple other teams at some points, including 49ers and just the craziness. And the Saints ended up re-signing Jameis Winston. Well, why? Because Deshaun Watson ends up getting moved from the Texans over to the Browns, and that happens coming off of the Browns trading for Amari Cooper from the Cowboys, so the Browns make two huge trades, and and with the Falcons not getting Deshaun Watson, and with the Colts needing a quarterback, they end up moving Matt Ryan to the Colts, and then they end up signing Marcus Mariota as their quarterback, and just the constant movement, the Carson Wentz before the Matt Ryan trade went to the commanders and just the amount of movement with big important pieces, not only quarterback, as we'll talk about here in a second, but it just constant movement. It, it's insane to witness. So now that I, I think the craziest part is the fact that pretty much every single trade or anything ties in with another one or was the direct relation to another one and I'll try to connect that just to show like how crazy it was so now that we've talked about the re-signings oh I'm gonna talk about the trades real quick and I'll try to explain why each one of them occurred and things of that nature so um not really in any order like timeline wise but just like big trades I'm gonna list them all and I'm not gonna list every single trade but like big important superstars one huge one is all year round there was talks of Tua Tonga move from the Dolphins for Deshaun Watson. There was even some reports of Jimmy Garoppolo, who Jimmy Garoppolo's had hasn't even been traded yet, 
And they end up sticking with Tua after bringing in a new coach. And then they trade for Tyreek Hill. And, and the Chiefs just moved Tyreek Hill. And previously before that, they signed Juju Smith. So now Tyreek, who has been a cornerstone for the Chiefs this whole time that they've been doing so well, getting to the Super Bowl and, and the conference championship and all that, just a huge piece with Pat Mahomes and Travis Kelsey has now been moved to the Dolphins, and he's now with Tua and Jalen Waddle. And I, I mean, I have a I have a video. I'll have that pop up of the AFC West and all of the offseason moves and the craziness and who I think will win the AFC West. But that was a big piece. I'll have that pop up up here somewhere. Um, but Tyreek Hill moves. And speaking of um, AFC West and trades, you also have Russell Wilson moving from the Seahawks, another big time quarterback. He ends up going to the Broncos, and now, now the AFC West is even more stacked. And then you end up after Aaron Rodgers' huge um, re-sign, and the Packers were already down in money a bunch. We end up seeing Devontae Adams traded from the Packers to the Raiders. Uh, they end up dropping a couple linebackers, and the Vikings scoop one of them up. Uh, just the constant movement. Is just insane, and and Cleo Mack gets traded from uh, the Bears to the Chargers. It, the crazy and and speaking of the Raiders, the Raiders ended up going out and signing. Oh shucks, who was it? I'm I'm blanking on it right now. Oh, I, I my apologies. I'm blank. There's just so so many trades, so many signings. I'm blanking on it. But the Raiders went out and signed a big piece, and then they moved Unique and Gakwe to the Colts, and and the Colts make another trade move, and just the amount of stuff that is going on nonstop, and and not even to mention some of the people that are getting cut, some of these top like Leo Collins who ended up getting cut and then re-signed to the Bengals. He was probably one of the best O linemen in free agency because of him getting cut, and uh, I mean. Bobby Wagner got cut, and he just got signed to the Rams now. And, gosh, let me, let me run through my trades that I have written down just so I don't miss any. Um, no, I got them all, at least all the ones that I wrote down. But, again, there's just so many that I'm guaranteed to miss very important ones just because there's so many, and I don't want to ramble for 30 friggin' minutes. And Okay, so let's, let's talk about some of the sightings that I haven't brought up yet. And again, these are going to segue into more trades and things of that nature. Allen Robinson gets signed to the Rams, and then the Rams end up trading uh, Robert Woods to the Titans now because they had so many wide receivers with Odell and Cooper Cup and Allen Robinson now. So they end up moving Robert Woods, who was a wide receiver one on some teams, wide receiver two for the Rams. He ends up getting moved to the Titans, who... I mean, the Titans are looking very good, and, and there's reports that the Titans might end up trading their star wide receiver along with the Seahawks, possibly trading DK Metcalf. And the, the amount of buzz that's still going around is just just crazy. A.J. Brown of the Titans, there's reports that he may end up getting moved. Um, there's some suitors. I, the Packers are apparently in cahoots for a possible new wide receiver one along with the Chiefs apparently looking for it. Um, DK Metcalf's also reported to be possibly on the move, and as long as as well as Tyler Lockett, and there was the whole tweets about uh, to DK uh, doors open for you at the Chiefs, and he said shut the door. I heard it gets cold, and oh, the amount of stuff. And J- Jimmy Garoppolo still needs to get moved because they have um, they have their new future quarterback there already. So you got to move Garoppolo. Where does Garoppolo go now that Matt Ryan's a Colt and Mariota is with the Falcons? Just the amount of, and I you mentioned the Browns, the Browns trade for Deshaun Watson, and they still have Baker Mayfield. Where's Baker Mayfield get moved? Do they try and keep Baker Mayfield to play the games that Deshaun Watson might end up getting, end up missing because of his, um, once everything settles, he's going to end up probably getting told that he can't play a set amount of games, suspended for a set amount of games, do they try and keep Baker and trade him at the deadline, or do they trade him now to a team that needs him? Who even needs him? Is he still a starter with the amount of talent that's in the league? It's just insane, and and I'm talking at the speed of light right now because there's just so much stuff, and I want to get it all out, but this has been such a crazy 
off season. And I'm not done. Don't think that I'm done because there's still so much. But the amount of things, the amount of connections to each everywhere, like every time there's one move, someone else is reacting to it. I mean, it's insane. And speaking of signings and reactions and all that stuff, J.C. Jackson signed to the Chargers. Then when we see Juju Smith get signed to the Chiefs, but then they move Tyreek Hill, which I already talked about. And then you see a bunch of uh, a bunch of D line just shift to the AFC West uh, along with the Khalil Mack trade. Uh, gosh, and and the amount of fake outs that have happened in the league this year. Uh, just w- w- Randy Gregory saying, "Hey, I'm going to sign with the Cowboys," and then goes, "Actually, no, I'm going to go sign with the Broncos." There's a couple other people that. Um, apparently signed a contract and said, no, I want to go to my original team or said that they were going to sign with their original team and then went, honestly, I'd rather go play for this team and the, the coaching movement and who's going to go where. The Dolphins got a new coach and, oh, my gosh, the the line just keeps on going and I, I, don't, I don't really understand all of it. And like I already brought up Leo Collins. Collins. He got cut from the Cowboys. Now he's on the Bengals. And who uh, Christian Kirk, the Jaguars spent so much money in the offseason, overpaid the heck out of Christian Kirk, at least in my opinion. He's probably the wide receiver three on the Cardinals, and now he's wide receiver one on the Jaguars with Trevor Lawrence getting paid top like 10 in the entire league for wide receivers. And, and not to mention wide receivers and re-signings. Mike Williams re-signed for a pretty big deal to the Chargers. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, and, and Devontae Adams, after getting traded, ended up signing with the Raiders for a big deal, and and trades that led to signings, Deshaun Watson signs the biggest contract ever that's all guaranteed with every single dollar of his contract being fully guaranteed, and I think it was only like a million in the year one because they thought it was going to be suspended. Whew, I just got to take a breath. There's so much information and I think the craziest part is I haven't even covered probably half of it and and I'm not going to keep on rambling because I'm going Mach 7 right now and I'm probably losing so many viewers because how fast I'm talking and how crazy it is but the fact is it is insane it's insane what has happened this offseason and now the question if you stuck through this long, there's one question. Why? Why this year is it going crazy? Well, at first, it was going kind of crazy in the NFC because, uh, well, I think, because Tom Brady retired. Oh, I got to take ups again. Because Tom Brady retired. He ends up coming back, yes. but And Aaron Rodgers, no one knew about his future. Everyone thought he was going to end up going to the AFC or retire and some people still thought he'd stay with Packers and no one really knew so there's a bunch of movement in the NFC at the beginning of the year and then Tom Brady unretires Aaron Rodgers and a re-sign with the Packers so all that stuff and then you look at the AFC and and just the AFC kept getting better and better so every team in the AFC had to keep getting better to keep competing I mean you look at the AFC and there's probably Oh boy, there's I mean, seven people, seven, right? Yeah, seven people make the playoffs each year, okay? Seven teams make the playoffs each year. There's probably at least 10, 10 to 12 teams in the AFC right now that you could confidently say this team's making playoffs, very confidently say it that a team's going to make the playoffs. And they just won't be able to because how great the team is this year. The AFC is this year. There's so many good teams, but it like just doesn't even matter because how much talent there is over in the AFC. I mean, probably three-fourths, two-thirds, three-fourths of the entire AFC could be a playoff team. And it's just... <clears throat> It's it's wild to think about, and then and then you look at all the trades of people moving, like all these major quarterbacks and all that stuff. I mean, Russell Wilson got moved out. A bunch of people inside the AFC were getting moved around, like Deshaun Watson. And now you look at the NFC and their quarterbacks, and there's only like 
four or like five that are like genuinely recognizable names in the NFL that are in the NFC. Aaron Rodgers, I'm going to miss some. I'm going to be very clear. I will miss some because I'm going to know every, almost every quarterback on for uh, that's a starter. So, but I got to think of like the actual big pieces. Aaron Rodgers, obviously. Tom Brady, Matt Stafford, who just went and won the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm trying to think. Like, there's not many. Are, are we are we counting Carson Wentz as a top five, a top ten now in the NFC? Are we saying Jalen Hurts is even though he's super young? You know, I'm definitely missing people. Um, Jimmy Garoppolo is going to end up being moved. Kyler Murray's got to be up there, but the, at the beginning of the year, there was reports that Kyler Murray could get could get moved to another team because he had had his big contract signed yet, and just the amount of stuff that is going on, and and we can't forget Kirk Cousins. I'm not a huge fan of him, but he just made the Pro Bowl last year for the Vikings, and it is madness right now in the NFL and come to think about it there's still half of a half of the offseason remaining now with the draft and with everything that's going I mean the draft is what 18 days away I think maybe 17 depending on when this releases it'll be even closer and the NFL draft is normally where the most craziness happens I mean What's going to happen on the NFL draft? Is Jimmy Garoppolo going to get moved for a trade because someone doesn't get a quarterback that they thought was going to fall to him? Will we see DK Metcalf or or will AJ Brown get get moved to a, a team that thinks that they're a contender and doesn't have the opportunity to go get somebody? Is someone going to try to jump somebody else in the draft to go get uh, a, a star talent? I mean, there's so much talent. It's it's a big defensive draft this year, for being honest, and there's. So much wide receiver talent, but are we going to see someone try to jump over somebody else? It's just crazy to think. And I tweeted a, maybe a week ago at this point, could this year's draft, with how defensive heavy and specialist heavy it is, and with the limited quarterback play, and I'm going to say this, I don't think it's very likely just because the teams that are need a quarterback are going to be desperate and reach because they see a chance of the guy that they want. But is it is it possible that this year there's no quarterbacks in the first round? Now, again, I don't think it's very likely. I, I'm not even going to be surprised if a quarterback goes top 10 or if like three of them go top 15 just because quarterback desperate teams. But that happens to happen in almost 30 years that a quarterback didn't go round one. And there's a chance for this year. If if trades occur with Jimmy Grappolo and things of that nature, and it's just and and you know what I didn't even want to bring this up, but I re- I really should because I, I need to I need to just I need to bring it up just out of respect. Dwayne Haskins incident, it's brutal. I I hope that the Haskins family is getting taken care of. Not not only financially they'll be all right, but I, I hope that there's people there to take care of the Haskins family and help them through this terrible moment. And the Steelers team, along with everyone that is on that team or his old Redskins teammates or just anyone for that matter that had any connection with Dwayne Haskins, I hope that you are able to go and find some help and they're able to find some help and I hope that everything's all right after this incident. But with all of the madness that's going on in the offseason, the fact that such a young future star, someone that was so good in college and someone that was still young enough to go and prosper and had plenty of opportunity to do so. And I think, I mean, I was a fan of this man. And I think he still has the capability to, I think he still had the capability to go out and, and prove a lot of people wrong. And the fact that at such a young age he ends up passing away in in a in a crazy incident, and I don't want to go too far into specifics. And I just I'm very sorry to the Haskins family and to anyone that was his friend. And I just want to say that say my piece. So rest in peace, Dwayne Haskins. 
I I hope that his family taken care of and all his friends are. Back to where I was. The fact that this offseason has been so crazy from trades to re-signings to signings to the incident and many other things that are are going to happen at the draft is just crazy, very crazy to think about. And we are just barely halfway through the offseason. And then we got to talk about after the draft, the the rookies are going to get contracts. Then we got to talk about the practice, team practices, and then the actual team camps and everything that's going to happen. There's so much more time in the offseason to be excited about after already witnessing something that was so exciting and thrilling to watch transpire. And I just hope that anyone's an NFL fan is really enjoying themselves. I hope that whatever your favorite team is, is doing well this offseason because there is plenty of winners and losers this entire offseason. And that's that's it. I'll, I'll have a video coming out on the draft um, here soon at some point. Just kind of, I'll probably have one for the Chargers because I'm a Chargers fan. I'll have one on who I think they should draft. And then I'll have, not a mock draft, but like, who my favorite prospects are, even if they might not get picked in the first round or so, who my favorite prospects are overall, who might slip, who might be gems, and things of that nature. I'll I'll have a video at some point coming on that. But if you stuck through this long, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Go ahead and uh, I'll have my AFC West video pop up. I don't know which side it pops up on. I think it would be this side. I'll have my AFC West video pop up. Uh, I talked about all the offseason madness and who I think will win that division and all that stuff because all four of those teams could be playoff teams. And uh, yeah, if you if you really like this, go ahead and click that video. I'm sure you'll enjoy that one too. Uh, subscribe because I have content pretty much every single day at this point. Even though I'm very 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 small on YouTube, I I'm very into this. I enjoy this so much, and uh, it's just so much fun for me. So give me a like, a dislike. Go give me some criticism down below because I really hope to improve. And tell me down in the comments who your favorite team is and what your favorite or least favorite move by them is. For me, my favorite move was JC Jackson getting signed to the Chargers. That helps the defense immensely. So go ahead and do that down below in the comments. And that's going to be all. So I hope I taught you something today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our conversation. I hope I put a smile on your face. I hope you made you laugh. That's pretty much my favorite part about all this video is knowing that Whoever's on the opposite side of the screen, I'm I'm somehow being a part of their day and hopefully making their day better. And finally, you guys all be safe out there.